That's right, YouTubers. It is a Weepy Willow update. Corkscrew, to be precise. And that is my mummy. Mama. Mummy. Bonsai. And it's been two weeks since I created this. Look at it. 20 hours of light. It is loving it. And this is my shulking. Weeping willow in the making. I just need wiring down that one. But I've got shoots coming out everywhere, and that's good. That's what I want because they're going to be my primary branches. And I'm going to have a top. I'm going to have a top. It's going to be a mini shulking bonsai. Now, I had a problem though. Remember when I said on my big tree that this is the big tree? This is my baby. I love this baby. Two years old, just over two years old. But just before winter set in, um, I had some aphids or green fly, and I said, Oh, I'll let them go. Yeah, it's starting to get frosty now. They'll be all right. The leaves will fall off. It'll be fine. Well, that's going to bite me in the ass, really, because they've come back because. This is the branch I cut off from my shulking bonsai. Um, and when I cut that off, I just put it straight in water. I didn't take any of the branches off, any of the leaves. I just put it straight in water in darkness for seven days. Yeah, that's all, seven days. And, um, well, yeah, that's kind of burnt me in the ass now because, as you can see, all those leaves have dried up. But... They obviously still have the green fly in. That's right. Or aphids, whatever they are. I don't bloody know. Maybe bugs. I, I don't know what they are, but they're pain in the ass. But yeah, that's all it took. Seven days to root. So I got my pot. I plonked it in. Like so. Being careful not to break the roots in the process. Then I got my trusty two millimetre wire. No, I think that might have been a three millimetre. And then... I just started wiring her up, like so. And then we're at this stage two weeks later, which is greenery. And like I said, I had a bit of a problem with these bloody um, green fly aphids. Uh, aphids, I think they are. Um, they were all over it. Is that one there? Is that a little effer there? No, I don't think it is. I've I've had a real good look. I I sprayed this only um yesterday. I was gonna give it another dose of spray today, but I wanted to have a good look to see if I could actually spot any. And to be fair, I can't see any in there because they hide in the little tiny new shoots and then they f up your shoots um but that is looking a-okay there so that's promising i'll show you what i used so i guess i'd say that was my secret weapon for now hopefully it was cheap from Amazon. Never heard of them. Duff. A bit like Duff, I suppose. Talking of Duff. Not that shipyard on my one. Anyway, this is the Mama. My Mama. Little bonsai. And I'll be honest, where I use that, that Duff spray, I've used it on my oak bonsai before and all the leaves started to crisp up and then they fell off on little oak tree. Um He's fine by the way but it scared me and I've done it with my big weeping willow before and all the leaves crisped up and died off but that was during the summer. I didn't apply it when it was hot, I did it at night but it still happened. And I've got little leaves in here starting to turn a bit yellow and just fall off in my hand. And I'm thinking, hmm, there's one. See, did you see how easy that just fell off? 
So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this doff is all singing and dancing, really. But we will... Well, I'll just have to see what happens in a few days' time, you know. You know? So, this... I've not fed this whatsoever. It's just been potted in Jack's Magic compost. Because it is peat-based and... I know all you, all you save the world people want to get rid of Pete, but I like Pete. He's a good old boy, and he makes my little seedlings grow. Pete is good, and all this peat-free shit. I'm sorry for my language, but it it gets me irate. It gets me irate. It's crap. Your seedlings don't grow. It takes twice as bloody long, even if they do survive. It's just crap. So, yeah. Phasing out Pete is is a bad thing. Bad thing. It's a bad thing indeed. I'm just gonna have to try and get Pete on the black market and see what he says. He'd be like, nah, I'm not, I'm not going on that black market. Nah, I'm getting trouble. But, but what, what else can you do? What else can you do? So this is a branch. So that, that is like a primary branch, and then I'll I'll wire that down, and then these other side branches are grow and then they get wired down and it will be like a little mini weeping willow it'll look epic it will like the other one it'd give me a year give it a year might even be quicker than that because i'm going to keep this under 20 hours of light during the winter and i'm going to see if i can like what am i what am i trying to say here I'm going to see if I can manipulate it to like have two seasons in like six months. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see if it survives. We'll see if I've got rid of all the aphids first. But um, yeah. And with Mammy, well, I'm not really like it. I'll be honest. I'm not really liking the branch structure on this one. I'm not sure what to do yet. I'm sort of in a, in a pickle really. I don't really know what to do with this, but I'll think of something. I will think of something. It'll just, just take a bit of time. But that one, yeah, my sure. He's all singing and dancing. And he's going to be a good one. He's going to be good. But if you have enjoyed watching this, then please, and I mean please, don't forget just to like it at least. And I'll see you next time. Gizzy Green Fingers. Ta-da.